My name is Stephen, and for the past couple of years, I've been working as a steward for British Airways. Some might find it surprising that a young man like me chose this profession, given its historical association with women. But I've always believed in breaking stereotypes, and this job has been nothing short of an adventure. From the moment I step onto the plane, I know I'm in for a unique experience. The hum of the engines, the scent of aviation fuel, and the anticipation of the journey ahead never fail to excite me. It's a feeling that never gets old, no matter how many flights I've been on. As a steward, my primary role is to ensure the safety and comfort of our passengers. I'm responsible for serving meals and drinks, helping with luggage, and making sure everyone on board is well taken care of. It's a demanding job, requiring a delicate balance between professionalism and genuine care. One of the things I love most about this job is the opportunity to connect with people from all walks of life. I've met travelers from every corner of the globe, each with their own unique stories and backgrounds. It's amazing how a simple smile, a kind word, or a friendly conversation can brighten someone's day, especially during long flights. Of course, there are challenges too. Turbulence can be nerve-wracking, and handling difficult passengers can be a test of patience. But the training and support from British Airways have prepared me well, and I've learned to stay calm and composed even in the most challenging situations. British Airways had always been known for its progressive approach, and recently, they made a bold move towards gender neutrality in their uniform policy. This change aimed to eliminate any form of discrimination based on gender and promote inclusivity within the airline. As a result of this groundbreaking decision, pilots, both male and female, now don sharp suits, and the stewards and stewardesses, like me, were given a stylish red dress paired with a white frilly blouse and, yes, red heels to wear. The new uniform symbolized a departure from traditional gender norms, and I couldn't have been happier with the shift. Wearing the red dress made me feel empowered, not because it was inherently feminine, but because it represented a step towards a more inclusive future. It was a uniform that celebrated diversity and recognized that anyone, regardless of their gender, could excel in their role as cabin crew. The passengers' reactions were mixed initially, with some expressing surprise at the change. But over time, they, too, began to appreciate the airline's commitment to gender equality. It sparked conversations, and I found myself explaining the rationale behind the new uniforms more than once. Most passengers respected the decision, and many even praised British Airways for taking this progressive step. One memorable flight, I met a young girl who was traveling alone for the first time. She approached me hesitantly and said, I like your dress. I smiled and thanked her. It was a small but significant moment, a reminder that breaking gender norms could inspire others to embrace their individuality and be unapologetically themselves. Of course, there were some challenges as well. Walking in red heels was no easy feat, and there were occasional wardrobe malfunctions. But these were minor inconveniences compared to the positive impact of the new uniform policy. As the months went by, I continued to wear my red dress with pride. It had become a symbol of change, a testament to the airline's commitment to equality and diversity. And for me, it was a reminder that my choice to become a steward with British Airways was not just about a job, it was about being part of a movement that aimed to create a more inclusive and accepting world, one flight at a time. As I continued to embrace the gender-neutral uniform, I decided to take things a step further. I realized that to fully align with the spirit of this change, I needed to break away from traditional expectations of grooming and appearance. So, I made a choice that felt right for me. One evening, before a long-haul flight, I carefully shaved my legs. It was a personal decision, not because I felt pressured to conform to any specific image, but because it made me feel more comfortable in the red dress. It was a way of expressing myself and challenging preconceived notions about gender and appearance. I also began experimenting with makeup. Subtle touches here and there, like a bit of eyeliner and some lipstick, allowed me to feel more confident and better suited to the new uniform. It wasn't about masking my identity, it was about enhancing it and presenting myself in a way that felt authentic. Feeling more in tune with my appearance, I approached the airline's uniform department with a request. I asked for a nameplate that would read, Stephanie, instead of, Stephen. 
It just felt right. A name that resonated with the person I was becoming and one that reflected the values of gender neutrality that the airline stood for. The nameplate change garnered mixed reactions from my colleagues and passengers. Some embraced it with understanding, recognizing my desire to be true to myself. Others needed time to adjust, but ultimately, it was about acceptance and respect for individual choices. As Stephanie, I continue to excel in my role as a steward with British Airways. The passenger's satisfaction remained my top priority, and the name change didn't affect the quality of my service. If anything, it helped me connect with passengers on a more personal level, breaking down barriers and fostering meaningful interactions. The journey of self-discovery and acceptance was ongoing, and I was grateful to be part of an airline that encouraged and celebrated individuality. In my red dress, with makeup applied just right and a nameplate that felt like a perfect fit, I soared through the skies, confident in my identity and proud to be part of an organization that championed gender neutrality and diversity in the sky. One sunny morning, I received an unexpected call from a renowned aviation magazine. They wanted to interview me for a feature story. I was both surprised and honored by the request. As Stephanie, I had become a symbol of British Airways' commitment to gender neutrality, and it seemed my story had caught the attention of the aviation community. The interview was conducted at a bustling airport terminal, and the journalist asked me about my journey, my experiences, and what it meant to me to be a part of this significant shift in the industry. I spoke from the heart, sharing my passion for the job, the importance of breaking gender stereotypes, and how my uniform and name change had empowered me. The resulting magazine article was titled, Stephanie, Redefining the Skies, and featured a stunning photo of me in my red dress, looking confident and poised. The article didn't just highlight my story, it also celebrated British Airways as a role model for embracing gender neutrality in aviation. The response was overwhelming. The article sparked conversations across the industry, inspiring other airlines to consider similar changes. I received letters and emails from people all over the world, expressing their support and sharing their own stories of defying stereotypes. One particular message stood out. It was from a young boy who had always dreamed of becoming a flight attendant but was discouraged by societal expectations. My story had given him hope and inspired him to pursue his dream fearlessly. Knowing that I had made a positive impact on someone's life filled me with immense pride and a sense of responsibility to continue advocating for change. As I continued my career with British Airways, I also became an advocate for gender equality and diversity in aviation. I participated in panel discussions, spoke at industry events, and mentored aspiring flight attendants, regardless of their gender identity. It was a way for me to give back and help others navigate the sometimes challenging path to breaking down gender barriers in the industry. Looking back, I couldn't have imagined how my journey would unfold when I first put on that red dress. But I was proud to be a part of an airline that had the courage to challenge conventions and embrace a more inclusive future. As Stephanie, I had not only found my true self but had also become a symbol of change in the aviation world, proving that in the sky, there are no limits to what anyone can achieve, regardless of their gender.